No, they, these are a loner, unfortunately. Um, but they gave me 25 G, so I can't complain. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to use it to pay my bills um, because I'm an independent producer. No, I mean, seriously, it's, it's so helpful because um, as an independent producer, it's very hard to make money doing what I love. So um, it really will enable me to you know, focus on my own projects and getting my own projects off the ground this year. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, ooh. That's, a, that's a tough question. I mean, I really, you know, finding a script that I want to produce is like falling in love. And it's hard to say. I mean, I'm genre agnostic. I do tend to favor filmmaker-driven fare. Um, and, you know, because I know producing an independent film is so difficult, um, there are certain things I look for in a director when I partner up with them. So even if the script is fantastic, um, I, if the director sucks, then I don't want to do the project because it's, you know, it's a long haul. I mean, you're basically partnering with this person for three years to make this movie, and so they, they have to have certain traits. Anything else? No other questions? Can I go? <laughs> What's next for me? Oh, I'm in post-production on a crime thriller called Eye of Winter, starring Alice Eve, Logan Marshall Green, and Brian Cranston, who's in that room right there. Um, and we just finished shooting that at the end, uh, sorry, right before Thanksgiving, and we hope to release that sometime this year. Um, I'm also producing, um, for that same director, his name is Zee Chun, um, I actually produced his first feature called Children of Invention that premiered at Sundance in 2009. And so we're in post-production on his second feature, I Winter. Um, I've got a couple more projects with him, another thriller set in New Orleans and a rock dramedy. And then I'm also working with a filmmaker named Aaron Katz, who you might know from the Mumblecore um, movement. Uh, he, he directed Cold Weather and Dance Party USA and Quiet City. So I'm producing a film called Darling Agnes, a 1920s comedy caper um, with Philip Seymour Hoffman, Emily Ziff, and um, Sarah Murphy.